way they speak to their women. In every culture, men are romantic to the way they speak. Look at, you know, like for example, you've got, uh, you've got Spanish. Te quiero. Yeah, even in my language. That is my language. The most romantic language in Africa. Prove me wrong. But you see, Somalis, first of all, you could never have a love story movie in Somalia. That just wouldn't work. Because, like, just imagine Romeo and Juliet with Somalis. Woo! First of all, it wouldn't be Romeo and Juliet. It would be Halimo and Farah. <laughs> now, let's start this story. You know, Halimo and Farah, you know, forbidden love in that the, the Hamshil or something. I don't know. <laughs> now, Halimo, you know, she's from Somaliland, you know, Argesa somewhere. But Farah is somewhere in you know, Mordish, you know, like, uh, Wardigle, you know, somewhere in Wardigle. For those of you who don't know, Wardigle is a little place in Somalia. Wardigle means river of blood, in case you, you're wondering. Like I said, very romantically named town, river of blood, Wardigle. Very, very, very non-violent people in Somalia. So you've got a town named river of blood, Wardigle, yeah? And, or maybe Bosaso, if you don't like Wardigle. And basically, Act 1, Scene 1, right? Farah has seen Halimo, and he wants to pledge his undying love to her. Action. Romantics. Naya! Naya, 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 Now, obviously, Somali women know their value. Do you really think a Somali girl will go to this guy? Yeah. Now, you think, you think that, okay, now that he's got the girl's attention, he'll be a bit more polite and be nice to her. Yeah, got it. And then he spits up his game. So when I, I, well, I or maybe I, Abai, or boy, she's from Djibouti, I, who know? MashaAllah, wa'ahwa, kurubadan, tahayo, 